Okay, so here is today's food truck haul, and um, this video I'll go over how we learned about it and how you can see if there is one in your area for you to check out. So first of all, this particular flat right here was a gift from the elderly couple that we see every week. This is what they had um, in their area yesterday. So a few of you have really enjoyed some of the comments I've shared from this elderly couple. And this week's comment was, really wasn't worth going for yesterday, all this vegetables and fruit. <laughs> We're happy to have it. So, they're, they're, they're a sweet couple. You, you have to know him to understand. He's just, he's one of those funny, cranky old men that you just love to pieces. But we have three celeries, um, a two-pound container of strawberries, four containers of blueberries, and it looks like there are two, two four, six, and seven mangoes. So this was in yesterday's food truck haul, and they just brought it with us, or brought it to us. And then this is today, so each family gets... A certain amount so this is three families worth and um, usually usually he's the first one done and then they grab what they want and then they give it to me I was the first one done so I actually could see the process and so yep he looked for each one said nope don't need it don't need it and I was like it's cucumbers it's good for you he's like yep yeah, don't like it so <laughs> you know it's more for us and we help the families in our church with it especially those that have little babies that you know can't really make it out so it all works out great so um it's a, a huge blessing to everybody so there's three bags of cucumbers here there's eight here that I've um already kind of dealt out for the ladies in our church and then that leaves us two bags approximately 16 or more cucumbers some of them are going to be juiced with the celery and some will be used for the salads um, there each there's three bags here so each bag has five mangoes in it more grapes I'm trying to be thankful y'all I'm trying to be thankful it's food that's not getting wasted and it's food that we don't have to pay for we'll keep it at that and then there are is that green set on the counter David is that the one that from fridge okay so then there's the greens from today there are there was actually three large containers from today this is actually part of yesterday's so we have four large containers and six smaller containers so we're gonna have a lot of salads this week which is fine you know we love we love some some good salads so that's it for this week and it kind of shows you you know like we had last week with all the pistachios and the cheese it was a pretty big week and honestly for me this is a really good week with all of the vegetables and whatnot but it's not necessarily what it, it's just a random of things now I'm just rambling so we'll just kind of stop here hi everyone I said I'd be sharing with you how you can find similar uh, commodities in your area for like I call our food trucks. Now I have done a little bit of research and there's um, two or three ways that I found more information on this. First I learned about it from the elderly couple that we get the extra food from. They used to live next door to us and they were the ones telling us about it. They learned it not only on the local radio news network but also on the local news station. So I heard it by word of mouth, and they heard it from local news sources. I also went online and did a simple Google search, and I will leave it down below the two links I found. The particular uh, food trucks have a particular name for our area. I did not see it outside of the state of Indiana. Um, so outside of that, I found another resource that may help you find uh, similar things in your area. When I was in California, we were able to go to the Salvation Army in our area and they pointed me in the right direction to find um, out more with these um, monthly um, commodities or amenities 
something like that is what they said basically once a month you can come in and get um, a basic food box like what you see sometimes that I have hauled um, and then weekly depending on what the stores donated this is all what I know from California depending on what the stores donated for our expired food and things that were going out of date um, that was um, kind of sifted through on a certain day each week I don't quite remember the day but uh, it was sorted through and then a certain day each week you could wait in line and you would actually walk through and pick out all of the things that you need or could request so that's something that was done back in California and what is being done up here in Indiana Indiana up here is the food wagons which I'm assuming is kind of an, an adaptation of what we had in California all those years ago um, due to recent uh, pandemic uh, circumstances and so this is one way that less contact less um, groups of people and whatnot um, so again those uh, website links are going to be down in the description box below and let's get on to the rest of the video well everyone it was a huge trip today um, I will put the total right here because I do not remember and I it is very late and we have a very early morning so I'm just going to kind of get going and be done. We are trying to save gas as much as everybody else is right now and so we went after church. It is Lent season so we have a Wednesday night church and it is almost 11 o'clock so very, very tired. So half of this is Kroger. And then half is Walmart. <clears throat> At Croker, I picked up one of these. We are cleaning houses, or uh, we are cleaning a house this weekend um, as a family. And um, it's about 15 minutes away. So I just grabbed this as a something to kind of tide us over. The paper or toilet paper was $10 for this thing, which is about $4 cheaper than what Walmart is. So I kind of want to go back and maybe pick up another one. We picked up one thing of Cheerios for this weekend. It, I'll be honest, this may end up being tomorrow's breakfast. Like I said, it's going to be a crazy weekend or a crazy day tomorrow. We're going to end up with six extra kids here. so. Um, it's not a full day of six kids, but at some point during today, we're going to have about six extra kids for a few hours. So kind of think this might just work out for tomorrow. I have some apples here. We did get, you know, like blueberries and what from the food trucks, but I did want some apples. I did pick up another cornmeal. We are completely out. Um, and I have some bananas here. I picked up these because I thought with the kids that come tomorrow, this might be a easy um, breakfast for them, for the ones that come pretty early. So we're going to do that. I have some sausage here for us. We're going to use that for some meals, some bananas. Um, with the six extra kids, I just picked up a package of hot dogs um, for most of the lunches. And then this is Amish um chicken sausages and so some of us will have this but it does contain milk so my daughter's gonna do a chicken sandwich or <clears throat> excuse me a roast beef sandwich um tomorrow instead but that's Walmart so we have some of these and then let's see I picked up a thing of salt to make my laundry detergent with. It seems to be working out okay. Um, I have four bell peppers here for snacks. So I figured with the cucumbers that would be really good. We have three green bananas and three avocados in this bag. This was free on Ibotta, so I'm going to send this to my with my husband tomorrow since he has a long trip to make for a test that he has to do so that'll kind of tide him over um, I I saw three vegetable broths there so I grabbed them they were $1.49 each at Kroger 
and I just kind of want to have them on my shelf. I have the bouillon to make beef and chicken, but I wanted some of the vegetable. And this was $2.99, and then Ibotta gave me a $0.10 cent back on any oat milk and a $2 back on this particular one. So this is like $0.90. Cents. This is shelf-stable, and I'm just going to set it aside because it's something my daughter can have. Um, this, speaking of daughter, I had my son and daughter with me, and they found this in the reduced and requested that. Um, but we're going to make some of our own juice with the apples, and we have some mangoes too, so we're going to kind of make some of our own um, juicing right now. This is also for my daughter. She prefers the coffee creamer. Um, I just prefer simple oat milk, but um, that's that. And then this is an almond milk yogurt. I got this for um, the rest of us. I have a son that probably that really should be dairy free as well. Um, so I grabbed that and we'll make granola and have some of that. And this is a oat one that we can kind of mix with it because this is the one my daughter can have. And then I did grab one oat milk. This was uh, $2.99 on sale and I think I had a 60 cent off coupon that I could use. And um, I know that the oat milk that is sent to us by a friend every month is not going to make it till the next shipment. So that's this is what I use for my coffee. And I think this is it for Kroger. Okay. And just this alone I know is about $80 and I got $5 back from my bottom. Now this is from Walmart. And yes, this week I really did see a price increase, especially with our oatmeal. Um, I was really kind of shocked by that. So... We'll get to that in a minute, but I know Walmart was over 140 when I don't remember. You'll see it by then. But part of that is this. Now I'm on a no spend year, but um, this was a decision that I can blame my husband on. <laughs> but it's this utility cart. This one has a tailgate, which I, I'm a little concerned by that. I'm wondering if it'll kind of maybe not hold up as well but I used to have one of these and I used it everywhere you know for our walks and for everything this was um, on clearance for $40 it's like half off and there's been so many times when I really needed it um, not just in our walks but in, th in places we go and then for our large trip this summer I was thinking this would be really good to have as well so I'm really thankful uh, to have this once more, and then especially with the kids we babysit, we can kind of use this as a stroller. Okay, so that was $40 from Walmart. We got some more cough drops. We're still trying to get over this dang cold. Uh, have some magic erasers. Um, I told you about this. This is what my daughter chose. We have this. My husband um, wanted, I don't, I don't know what he, why he got that. I think it's for his work. We have a new bottle, scrub brush we needed that and we needed more ponytails apparently I have two things of chips here and the salsa the salsas um, are very 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 limited right now um, there's hardly any brands right now so I did I did find this one which is a mild and chunky so I grabbed that I have um, a three pound bag of cuties here. This was um, $5. So that's gone up in price, but pretty, I didn't really see a whole lot of pickings when it comes to citrus right now at Walmart. Um, I'll be honest, I forgot to look at Kroger. Um, we were trying to do that before we got to church and then Walmart after. So I was on limited time there, but um, Kroger seemed pretty well stocked. I, I did see some gaps and I couldn't tell if that was because it was later at night or if it was gaps, but Kroger to me seems to be more stocked than Walmart. Um, so that's something I'm noting for future. At Walmart we picked up carrots. Um, we have a couple of tortillas here. These are the only kinds we could find. 
I have some of these to top all the salads that we've received with. I have, if you watched last week's video with um, us trying to go plant-based, I thought I had chickpeas and I didn't. So I did pick up three pounds of dried chickpeas here. So I have that and I have three, four packs of canned tuna. I did pick some of these up. Um, I figured I could make some meals with it also that my daughter could use when we have stuff that she can't and I just remembered something that I needed which is gluten free breadcrumbs so I need to make sure I add that to my Amazon order. One of the things that we tried and really really loved was that cauliflower buffalo bake and um, my daughter wants to make that again so she's going to. She needs to be careful with almonds right now so I did find a cashew butter that she can use. We need to put a big E on here so that nobody else eats it because that's expensive. Have some cilantro. I have two things of um, asparagus there. I have one thing of my favorite. Actually, this isn't my favorite. Um, they did not have my favorite, but this one looked pretty, pretty comparable to that. So I just grabbed that one. Um, I didn't really want a sugar free. Gosh darn it. Dirt. It has sucker loose. Dang it. Oh, the one I the one I like um, looks similar to this, but it's not that brand. Oh well. Yeah, if you've seen my other hauls, you've seen it. And then my son grabbed a Tabasco sauce because. He's been wanting it for a long time and I keep forgetting to get it. So he was with me, so he remembered. We have some mini chocolate chips to make protein balls with. A butterscotch chip to make more pumpkin muffins with. That's um, a family favorite. Uh, butternut squash. Daughter grabbed that. This is one of her favorites. Green beans. This is something she also grabbed just to kind of bulk her um, meals up with. And we got some sweet potatoes that she can do some things with and I can do some things with, so we just grabbed that. We have blueberries and mangoes for smoothies. This is what that cauliflower is for. It's to make some of the buffalo bites. My son grabbed these. Apparently, he's taken after his dad and loves canned sardines. Ugh. And guess what? Walmart had some potatoes, mainly the shredded hash browns. So I did grab them. I do like to use these in the bottom of my, like, my breakfast casserole. Um, I know I could do it for less making my own potatoes and doing all that, but I'll be honest, this is just so much easier and faster on the day that I need to remember. Melatonin, this is a staple in our house. Um, know how to use this before you just buy it. You, This is not to be taken every day. So make sure you understand melatonin before dishing that out. I am good. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> and then we have some masa. Um, my husband's going to put the boys to work making us more tortillas. So there's that. And then oats. Oats was the one thing that I was like, whoa, that's gone up on. I used to be able to get these for $1.82 each and I believe they are now $2.60. So they've gone up almost a dollar a piece. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, the tuna was pretty comparable to what I'm used to seeing, which was like $3 and something cents for four cans. So that's pretty good. I'll put the price here. Um, I forgot to look at the price of hash browns. Blueberries have gone up. I don't remember the mangoes. Um, I used to get these for my husband for $0.92 cents each, and I think that's still the case. Um, so here's that. This is over $200 of food here, but we are pretty, I mean, I guess it doesn't look as bad right now. We have a little leftover dinner, some homemade salad dressing, some of the blueberries from today. This is some zucchini to make, zucchini muffins. I got some eggs today, some chicken, some cheese that needs to go in the back freezer, some grapes, and and whatnot so it looks more full now but um, it was pretty bare this morning 
is really bare this morning, actually. And I didn't think I was going to make it another day. So I'm really hoping this will last us a few weeks. We'll see how long, especially with the amount that we spent. Um, but yeah. So see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.